What's up everybody, this is G6Bu and today I will be unboxing a new game that my brother bought again. And this game is now called Spirit Camera. The Colors Mirror. Or Mirror, what do you want to call it? Mm, this is a very distinctive kind of game. It's kind of like a, how do you call it? A scary game. But, but I'm surprised... Scary games are rated T for teen. And I just find it funny because, uh, like the previous uh, scary games, you know, like Join the Grudge on the Wii or Fatal Frame series from the PS2, uh, Fear, yeah, those also good ones. Doom, yeah, those are really, really scary games. If you actually play in the dark, you will flinch like hell. You will flinch. So, yes, Spirit Camera. And uh, look at these features, actually. It says here, the AR book is included. So, basically, you have your 3DS and the AR book that will, like, d detect it, like, probably toward the storyline, like, characters that you... Uh, and ghosts... And stuff and everything so yeah I think that's how you do it it says here look through the spirit camera if you dare blurring the line between reality and the supernatural uh, can you escape the mirrors sinister curse battle spirits all around you reveal haunted visions and vengeful spirits and enter the cursed pages with our argumental reality argumented reality I mean so uh, yeah. Anyways, let's check this game out. <laughs> it seems pretty interesting to for my kind of taste because I I did went to scary games, just like the Jew and the Grudge, uh, the House, one and two, Hotel Six to Six. I I did all that. <laughs> That's like in my previous channel, but I'm going to put those in my uh new channel. So, anyways, here's the manual, the instruction booklet. Alrighty then. What the douche? What this? Ah! Oh, there it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, alright. Controls, viewing, photography, your surroundings, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, oh, so you're moving your 3DS while checking it out. You have to use the gyro sensor. And you have to take a picture. Ah! So it's actually, so it's actually kind of like your using like a real camera to it that's cool investigating the cursor mirror huh? clean the air buckle on flat real lit surface of course so instruction one to show it and instruction two to, to uh, do the alignment with your 3ds to the book which is pretty cool that's pretty nice huh but it does, this game kind of does remind me of Fatal Frame in a way. Uh, but uh, I haven't uh, set, checked any of these uh, gameplays walkthroughs on YouTube. So that's what the game looks like. It's very distinctive, just like the Jew and the Grudge game on the Wii. It has that eye thing right there. Like, that is something like every Japanese horror film would definitely do. Like, they put like an eye like that. I'm like in, in a video game cover. Oh, nice. Very distinctive. Mm, I might give this a go in case I might have to buy one for myself because uh, this is my brother's game and he's been playing it for quite a while. And yes, he said he does get scared playing it. It's like it's just that scary. Like I'm not saying like the scare factor, kind of like uh, Resident Evil or whatever. Like sometimes it's scary, sometimes it's not. Whatever. So yeah, I I'm just saying that in, in a sample, in an example to say whatever you call it. So, spirit camera, yeah. So that's about it for this uh, unboxing of uh, spirit camera because uh, it's. I think it's just not that much, you know, like capturing ghosts and the photo thing it's just like fatal frame just just reminds me of it i'm like but thinking about it now like i think it might be part of the fatal frame series i'm like i know fatal frame had like a lot of scary moments 
on the PS2, and my god, they were scary. But looking at this game on the 3DS and rated T for Teen, uh, I wouldn't suggest that. I, I think this game would have been better if it was rated M for Mature, making all blood and gore, just like how they did on the Resident Evil series. And they did pretty good. But uh, some pe to some people say that the Revelations, uh, Raccoon City, and Six are the horrible games. Because, like, I don't know why. I probably said story mode or campaign. I mean, uh, the character appearance, whatever. Or, but probably I'm sa thinking about it. Probably might be the story. But that's their opinion. I I don't really care what they say. It's I just enjoy a great game. Like if you play play games like these and people say it's bad, like they say you try to avoid it. I'm like, just like don't try to avoid it. Like at least play it. At least you know what it's like playing it. If if you don't like it, you can always return it back to games. Mm. You can always return it back to games. Though. Sorry about that. I had a, a little mucus on my throat, so <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's pretty much about this uh, unboxing video. And uh, if you want me to do more, leave me your uh, comments down below and tell me what games you want me to uh, check out and everything. And I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on a new uh, unboxing video. All right, guys? All right. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time for a new unboxing video. Take care.